Hey gamers, welcome back to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. I'm your host, Big Geek. We're back again with a Ben Jordan Paranormal Investigator, case number eight, Relics of the Past, Walkthrough Marathon. That's right. Um, not sure how, how many more episodes I have to do of this game, but I will continue playing this game until it's done. I may have to take some breaks from time to time. But we're going to continue playing this game, and we're going to win it for you. We'll show you how to win the game. Let's continue our adventure with Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator. He just uh, listened to a um, he just listened to a uh, reminiscent uh, story by Professor Quentin Jones about his life, his adventure in Romania with his grandfather, uh, Grandpa Jones, Grandpa Jordan. So let's continue our adventure. We're back in the pub. pub. Okay, so we're gonna go over to the bar again, and there's a seems to be a, a, a young gentleman reading a uh, piece of paper. Bar preacher. It's a patron of the bar. <clears throat> He's intently reading what seems to be a newspaper. Let's talk to him. You know, you don't see too many people wearing pink hoodies. Brave choice. Okay, first off. It's not pink, it's salmon. Yeah. Second, it's not as brave a choice as that pleather thing you've got going on there. Touche. Good one, good one. Hey, can I bother you with some questions for a second? Sure, why not? I mean, that's why people go to bars, right? To be accosted by random strangers? I, I know it's why I do. Tell me about yourself. So, tell me about yourself. Whoa, whoa, hold it right there. Whoa, This ain't man. that kind of bar. I, mean, I, I realize the sweater might be sending some mixed signals, but... It was just a question. Right, yeah, of course, sure. There's totally nothing wrong with that, by the way. You live your life the way you want to. Wait, what? What? Don't worry about it. That wasn't the intention. Anyway, I'm here in London with my buddy John. We're filming a show for the internet. It's like those travel shows where the guy eats raw fish heads, you know? Sure, I think okay. I do. Uh, yeah, except in our show, John goes out and looks for weird locations, and I come drink at pubs. It's the best job ever. Huh, I don't remember that. Might make a good title. Um, weird locations. What exactly do you mean by weird locations? You know, uh, places off the beaten path, the kind of places people wouldn't normally go. Mm. You know, like your house. Oh, burn. oh one point to good one, good one. Yeah, that's very funny. Yeah, I know. Kind of why I said it. Seriously, though, what kind of places have you found here? Oh, tons. We just came from this psychic shop run by this real crazy old lady. Hmm. Man, she was a trip. Well, that's going to be interesting. Um, London. We'll what do you think the of London? Are. Shop in a few well, it's not Brooklyn, seconds. I'll tell you that. I mean, for one thing, I haven't seen a single roof I can climb, let alone any I'd want to. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. You wouldn't understand, anyway. Okay, newspaper. What's that you're reading? It's one of the local papers. <laughs> Look at this, there's Whoa. boobs on page three. So I see. Man, we don't get stuff like this back home. <laughs> boobs, man! Oh, wow! Tell me more psychic about the shop. psychic shop. I forget the name of the lady who owned it, but she had this big guy guarding the door. Mm. She had this pink turban and a wow. black robe, and was the place was all made up like in the movies. Pink turban, black robe, and a flair wow. for the dramatic? That's gotta be Madame Tilly Rosenquist. That's her. Yeah, that's her. Wait, did you did you just say flair for the dramatic? Yeah. Man, you're like a walking cliche, aren't you? Who talks like that? Look, can you just tell me where the shop is? Ah, not so fast there, Red. What? Quid pro quo. What? It's Latin. It means... I know what it means. What do you yeah. want? Well, why should I give I'll away my information you. on weird places for free? Uh, do a, f 
I scratch Find your back. I you scratch mine. And I'll tell you the location of this one. I don't have time for this. Yeah, and have you got time to wander around London looking for her shop? Fine, I'll see what I can find you. Good man, You're saving John some work. Take it easy. Yeah, you too, Gingy. Let's save her progress as. Let's save this. Save this as filmmaker. Save. Okay. Save that progress now. Okay. Let's see if we can knock around here. Let's look at our notepad to see if there's something we can read that would help us. Find out where Coach and Horses is located, located and go there. Go check. Find info on weird locations for any for guy and bar. Check. We found the guy. Now we gotta get some information from him for him. But we um, need to do some more research. See if we can talk to Percival Quentin Joe. Maybe maybe he can help us with our quest. All right, let's talk to this. Let's talk to Sheldon. Um, Percy. Yes, Mr. Jordan. Yes. No more questions for now. As you wish. Okay, that didn't go too well. Do I have any items? Oh, nothing here. Okay. Maybe we can ask a few more questions for this gentleman he has any more answers for us. Hey, can I bother you with some questions for a second? Sure, why not? I mean, that's why people go to bars, right? To be accosted by random strangers? I, I know it's why I do. Take it easy. Yeah, you too, Gingy. Alright, I'm ask the question of the bartender. Have you got some time to answer a couple of questions? Talk is cheap. Alcohol isn't. What do you want to know? Um, bar patron. Who's that guy at the bar? What? The snarky American with the whiny voice? Yeah. I have no idea. He wandered in here about an hour ago. As long as he pays for his drinks, I won't be tossing him out. Mm. Of course, that pig sweater of his is reason enough. It's salmon, damn it! Salmon! Salmon! Sure, salmon, sure. Salmon, sure. Salmon. I say. Uh, order a drink. I I'd ask like a drink, questions. please. You came to the right place for it. What'll it be? Something to make me forget my problems. Ah, I got just a ting for you. The team. Here you are, laddie. Wow, that was strong, but good. You're feeling kind of slightly better now, but kind of one another. So tell me a joke. Hey, Seamus, how about a joke? Certainly. This one was one of my mom's favorites. A woman gets on the bus with her baby, and she pays for a ticket. The bus driver says, that's the ugliest baby I've ever seen. The woman says, I'm human. She says to the man next to her, the driver just insulted me. The man says, shouldn't take that, you should tell him off. But go ahead, I'll hold your monkey. <laughs> hey All See right. you later. That's it. Take care, laddie. See for progress. Filmmaker. Alright, let's see if we can get some information from somewhere. Maybe we can find someone outside. Oh. Sir! There sir! You go. There you go. Over here, sir! Are you talking to me? Over here! Yes, sir! Please, please come over here. I must speak with you. Okay. Let's talk. What seems to be the problem? The problem, sir, is that millions of children in this city go hungry each night. The problem is that they sleep in cardboard boxes and alleys. Oh, great. Okay. What have I gotten myself into? And the problem, sir, is people like you who don't care. Look, don't get me wrong. 
I care about the plight of the homeless children as much as the next guy. But right now, I've got plenty of my own problems to deal with. Oh, I understand, sir. After all, this is London. Everyone is so busy. Busy here, busy there, busy everywhere. Everyone caught up in their own problems, not thinking of the children. Give me a break, lady. Um, you are a lady, right? Please, sir, think of the children. It's all we Can ask. Someone, please, well, what am I think supposed of to the do children. Then? Take this informative magazine. It mm. will educate you on the situations. The situation. Thanks. I think. Not so fast, what? sir. What now? What? For taking a copy of the magazine, we kindly ask for a small donation. Oh my gosh. Alright. It's like a Jehovah's Witness. How much? A poultry five pounds, sir. Five pounds? For a shoddy magazine that feels like it was printed on toilet paper? Please, sir. Think of the children. Think of the yeah, children. I know, I know. Okay, if it'll get you to leave me alone, here. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, please, don't talk to me anymore. Uh, we'll save this progress as... Evangelize. Evangelizer. Evangelizer. Let's have a little more talk with her. Don't want to talk to her anymore. All right, she died a little bit too much. Okay. All right, now uh, let's look at our inventory. It's a magazine. It's a magazine called The Kids Issue. Apparently, it's printed for charity to aid homeless children. You flip through the magazine, but none of the articles are particularly interesting. Let's see if we can give this magazine to the filmmaker. Maybe you can use it. You don't want to give him that anyway. Alright, let's talk to them. Hey, can I bother you with some questions for a second? Sure, why not? I mean, that's why people go to bars, right? Okay. To be accosted by random strangers? I, I know it's why I do. Of course. Take it easy. Yeah, you too, Gingy. Oh, don't want to give him that. Okay. It's a magazine called The Kids Issue. Apparently it's printed for charity to aid homeless children. Let's look through the magazine. You flip through the magazine, but none of the articles are particularly interesting. Evangelizer. Alright, let's get off outside. See if we can do something else. Okay, nothing else here. Where else can I go? Alright. Uh, coaching horses. British Museum reading room. Percy's flat. There's a lamp. Soggy paper. There seems to be a soggy piece of paper stuck to the bottom of the lamp post. Okay, that's that's interesting. Let's grab that. Oh, what's this paper say? It appears to be a travel brochure listing interesting tourist destinations in London. However, it's extremely crumpled and soggy, and make it difficult to read. You try and bring out the brochure with your hands, but it remains pretty soggy and wrinkled. Okay. 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 Save our progress as uh, soggy brochure. Okay. Let's get about. Go back to coaching horses. Give the soggy piece of paper to uh, the filmmaker. Here, will this help? It's a travel brochure for places in London. Okay. Uh, no, that's a soggy piece of crumbled up paper. No, really, see? You can sort of make out the title here. Look, I appreciate the thought, but you're gonna have to do better than that. These hands don't touch anything that came out of a gutter. 
Except maybe your mom. Hey -oh! oh snap, what just happened? Carboni just happened, that's what. Okay. See, uh suck for sure. I have an idea. We'll go upstairs to Percy's flat. Right. We'll take the soggy piece of paper, like this, and we'll put, put it to the lamp, like this, and dry it out. You carefully place the soggy brochure on the lamp shade and smooth it out. After a few minutes, you heat the heat from the bulb dries the brochure. Dum ba da! Alright, uh, I'll save this as filmmaker and we'll look at our document. It's a slightly moist but overlay over overall readable London travel brochure. You don't want to mess with the brochure too much, it's still in a delicate condition. Let's uh, go out to the bar, bar patron. Let's give the document to young filmmaker here will this help it's a travel brochure for places in London uh, let me see okay yeah this is this has got some good stuff Fine. although it does sort of threaten to render our show obsolete yeah well you kept your end of the deal so here oh excellent this is the business card for that psychic shop you asked about thanks no problem now if you'll excuse me I need to continue my self-destructive <sighs> binge drinking have fun Save it as a filmmaker. Let's look at our document here. The business card is for a place called the Third Eye. You make a note of the address. Examine it. The business card feels smooth and slightly glossy. Excellent. Save our progress. <coughs> Find info on weird locations for Guy and Bar. Done. Check. All right. Let's move on. Let's head to that location. All right. Third eye. We've arrived. 